Anything is possible. Anything at all. Anything is possible. Anything at all. Anything is possible. Anything at all. Anything is possible. We just can't do it all. Anything is possible. Anything at all. Anything is possible. Welcome to Kids Church. And now for a special trick with a special guy. You've seen him at Kids Church. You've seen him online. And now you're going to see him right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Greg Phillips. Hi everybody, it's Pastor Greg, and it's time once again for Magical Messages in Minutes. Today, I want to talk about a crazy, sometimes confusing, mixed up kind of world. Let me explain. Let's pretend that this glass represents you and me. The water represents those of us that have Jesus living in our hearts. The world is going to be represented by this box. Now, as believers, with Jesus living in our hearts, we are upright. But the devil doesn't want us to be upright. You see, the devil wants to confuse us. The devil wants to mess us up. The devil doesn't want us to be successful. He wants us to be upside down. But boys and girls, the thing to remember is that the Bible says troubles will come. That there will be problems in this world. But Jesus doesn't want us to have struggles. He wants us to be successful. And when we have Jesus, living in our hearts, we will be upright. As a matter of fact, with Jesus living in our hearts, we will be successful. Now the thing we have to realize is that if we watch the news, and we watch the TV, and we listen to people that don't have Jesus in their hearts, well, they can be confused. They can be mixed up because the devil really is doing a number on them, and he's turned them upside down. We have to trust that God knows what's going on. We have to trust that with Jesus in our hearts, things are going to be okay. With Jesus living in our hearts, we will be successful. We will be upright because of what Jesus has done for us. This has been another magical message in minutes. Thanks. Bye-bye, everybody. Hey, kids. Welcome to Kids Church Online. I'm here in the Kids Church room at Connection Church, and I'm excited that we're coming back. That's right. I want to invite you back to church. August, um, we're going to do second service only, Kids Church services. And uh, so tell your family. In fact, your whole family can come. If your whole family wants to come and sit together, we're going to be socially distant. Um, but we're going to have lots of fun right here. And we're going to be singing some new songs in Kids Church. One of the songs we're going to be singing is Sing It Again. And that's the um, lesson I want to look at here today. I want to look at some of the lyrics. You can watch it on the YouTube link um, provided um, in the description. Um, but the first part of the lyrics say, Let it begin our freedom celebration. We'll dance and sing. There's a Holy Ghost party that never stops. That's right. And we are going to be um, partying when we all get back together here in Kids Church. It's going to be so cool. Tell you what, before we move on with the service, let's look at two different scripture verses that talk about that first part of the lyrics. All right, this is the part where we're going to use our Bible. So if you have your Bible um, or go get it, um, you can pause the video, go get your Bible. We're going to look up Luke 15, 10. 
Luke 15, 10, and here's what it says. It says, in the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Did you know that when people decide to give their lives to Jesus and give the, and ask Jesus to be their best friend and say, you know what, I want to follow you, I want to love you, I want to obey your commands, that God, um, there's like a party in heaven. That was pretty cool. It's like, there's a Holy Ghost party that never stops. You know, we um, serve an awesome God and we can choose to follow him and all of heaven rejoices with you when you make that decision. The next part of the song says, Arise, in your praise my soul delights. Shine, my dance anthem is your love. Wait a minute. In your praise my soul delights. Do you know what your soul is? Your soul is your mind, your will, your emotions. It's true, your mind and your will and your emotions. It's not your physical body. But then it says, um, so we praise God with our mind, our will, and our emotions, with our soul. And then it says, our dance anthem is your love. So do you dance with your physical body? Yes! <laughs> Acts 17, 28 says, in him we live and move and have our being. Psalm 149 verse 3 says, let them praise his name with dancing. So that's one way that you can praise God. So next time you want to praise God, get up and dance. The chorus goes like this. Sing it again. Our God reigns. We'll lift our praise unto your name again. All around the world will sing. You know what? This part of the song actually reminds me of another song that is a scripture verse found in Psalm 146, verse 2. Hey, <laughs> Psalm 146, verse 2. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Let's do it again. This time at home you can sway with me. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Hands this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way. Keep it going! I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live as long as I live next part says sing it again our God reigns he taught our dead hearts how to beat again <laughs> all around the world will sing so I just made uh, so out of a balloon I just made this heart what do you have in your heart? Do you have pop? Maybe a pop is your favorite thing in life. Hopefully a pop isn't your favorite thing in life. Do you just dwell on video games? Video games in your heart? I guess so. Or in your heart do you have Jesus, God's word in your heart? Do you have a relationship with him? You know, in Ezekiel, it's, he says that God wants to take your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. What does that mean? I'll tell you what. God wants to give you a desire to have a relationship with him. He wants to teach that dead heart how to beat again. He wants to bring you back to life. And if you want a relationship with God, he'll give you that desire and he wants you to have that desire. He has that desire to be with you and he wants to have you give you the desire to be with him and he will if you let him. So 
Let God work on your heart. Follow his, follow his ways. In fact, the Bible says that if we love him, we will obey his commands. So, let's start by asking God to be our best friend. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will soften my heart. Lord, give me the desire to do what is right. I want to have a relationship with you. Amen. Around the world, join in the celebration. Let it be heard. In Revelation chapter 7, starting in verse 9, it says this, After this, I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. That's Jesus. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands, and they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen.